Hi everyone! So in this video I recreated a design that I saw on Instagram. The girl's name is Mindy Hardy. If you want to check her out, she's amazing. Give her some love. So on the ring finger I applied a thin layer of um, silver holograph holo <laughs> holographic glitter. And I kept it really thin because you're going to encapsulate it later. I kept on adding little by little just to make sure that the nail isn't too thick in the end. And my camera had a really hard time focusing, so, but then on the other hand, you can see how much the holographic glitter shimmers. So that's a plus point to this whole focus disaster. Also, the reason why I keep on patting and patting and patting on the nail is to get it really smooth. And if you have a smooth nail, when it dries, you have no effort trying to file it. And then for the middle finger I used white acrylic powder. At that time I didn't have white polish or white gel polish. If you have white polish you should do this nail with clear. Um, I didn't have it so I used white acrylic instead. And I just kept it thin as well. And patted and stroked it until I was pleased with how it looked. And then for the thumb, I also used that holographic silver, silver glitter, <laughs> speech problems. And um, I'm just going to fast forward into this because you already saw that in the beginning. Then you have to encapsulate it with clear acrylic. If you don't encapsulate, you'll file off the glitter and keep it really thin as well. And for the rest of the nails, which I didn't show, you just have clear acrylic overlay. And when everything is dry, you file and shape the nails. If you were sloppy in your application, this step should take a little longer than what I did. I kept it really thin and tried to be as smooth as I can <laughs> just to avoid um, extra filing time it saves so much time trust me if you're being neat <laughs> and yeah if you have white polish or gel polish this nail should be clear instead of white but then again I didn't have it then I used some striper to get um, some vertical lines going. If you have a really steady hand, I suggest using a black striper instead of this. I <laughs> get the shakes pretty often, so this was, this was my best guess and doing it. And then again, it takes a little bit more time because you have to apply the stripes. Um, but in the end, it looked good, so it's no problem at all. For this I used China Glaze's liquid leather and I just painted it on in between the lines. And for the smaller areas I just use a smaller brush with the same polish. The polish doesn't have to be 100% dry when you remove the striping tape. Um, as you can see, I have a little black mark right there, but you can remove that with some acetone. And yet another reason why you should use a striper, <laughs> a striper because this is some tedious work right there.
And for the rest of the nails, which don't have any art on it, I just applied a gel color from Biasi with gels. This is sugar berry. And I put on one layer, let it cure for two minutes in a UV lamp or 30 in a LED lamp, 30 seconds that is. And then I applied a second layer and let it cure again. For the ring finger, I applied the Biasi with top gel and let it cure. And then I did the same for the rest of the nails. And as for her last minute decision, she wanted to add something extra on the middle finger, so I applied that same top gel and put some um, golden squares on it. Again, I'm really sorry for the bad camera quality. Um, I'll try my best to avoid it next time, I promise. I then let it flash cure for a couple seconds and applied a generous amount on top so that they won't pop off. And when every nail has been fully cured, this is how it looks. I think it looks really super duper. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you like this design and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!